Today's an amazing day because we are on top of the Rock House on the Rocky Mountains here in Colorado, and it's amazing. Should I, do I have to explain? Is this, it, it's beautiful. Today, what we're gonna talk about are three accessories that are must-haves when traveling. What kind of accessories must you take with you when you're doing photography, videography, a little bit of both. And I'm only gonna go over three because that's all I got time for. First thing is tripods. I have a tripod that that camera's on. I have another tripod in my bag. This here is actually part of the Zion Crane 2 gimbal. I have a bunch of these that are Manfrotto's and they're freaking horrible. This, however, is magnificent for many reasons. Rubber feet that don't fall off. This does not get old fast. The joints on it and it's strong as heck. On top of it, I have the Manfrotto 496 RC2. Good for traveling, a lot lighter, but strong as heck. And if you're gonna put an expensive camera on it, you want something strong enough to hold your camera, because when they fall, I guarantee you through experience, I do know they break. But this guy goes with me everywhere, or a girl, it could be a girl, I guess. No, it's a guy. This guy goes with me everywhere because it's small, you throw it in your bag, it's strong for those nice low angle shots. <laughs> If you want to put it on top of a rock, where you want to put it, but this thing can go with you everywhere. This never leaves my bag. And if anybody ever gives you some trouble, you could, I'm kidding, don't do that. The next thing, of course, is the Phantom 4 Pro. Yes, a drone. These mountains are so freaking huge. You can only cover so much ground, even in this thing, as fast as it is. So you gotta have a drone on board to be able to get those epic shots. If you guys want to learn more about how to get epic shots in mountains with drones, please comment below because most of the videos out there, they suck, but we'll show you how. But this drone here is fantastic. It's small. I like it better than the other smaller platforms of the DJI drones because the quality is up there. It's good. It's good stuff. You can use this with a client. That's why I love this drone. Small, but yet not too small where the quality starts dipping. Probably my most favorite because this goes everywhere. It actually sleeps in bed with me. You can ask my wife. It actually doesn't. But this is the Zion Crane 2 because this thing is dope, next level, amazing greatness of smoothness. We're from freaking Rocky Mountain. You know why they call it the Rocky Mountain? Because there's freaking rocks everywhere. And it's not very smooth. My hoverboard does not work here. Filming inside this thing, if I was just holding the camera, it'd be chaotic. With this, I can get good shots here. Getting some nice smooth, silky smoothness. Getting those low angle shots that you typically can't, 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 that you typically can't get any other way. But this is just a quickie. These are three quick items that you should take with you no matter what. When you're traveling, you need to have these things to make the next level epic kind of footage. If you guys don't have some of these toys yet, if you want to try out some of these toys, like if you want to try some gimbals out, make sure you go check out lensrentals.com. Use my affiliate code. Save yourself 15%. The link will be below. But meanwhile, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon.